Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to do a little walk and talk. I've been wanting to do this for a while and um, I thank the brother in Christ for the stick to be able to do the walk and talk. Uh, it's raining here but God gave us a break in the rain so we can do a quick walk and talk and I just want to do a warning to the brethren. The main reason I want to do a walk and talk is I want to talk about what happens if the internet goes down. Okay. In the past we had brethren that if, if this ministry fall as it gets shut down from the from the internet or that ministry gets shut down from the internet what are we going to do what are we going to do my brother says christ what if the internet shuts down okay my my encouragement to your brother says christ is do you have the holy spirit in you do you have your king james bibles okay for any reason i'm gone from the uh internet other brethren online are gone from the internet trying to preach the word you need to stay in that bible that's my encouragement brother christ stay in the word of god every day stay in prayer every day continue to live for jesus christ every day with the life that you're living looking for him okay uh, we're getting into some tough times and we don't know how much it's going to affect us here in the u.s but there's brethren all over the world that are having some hard times right now and i just wanted to wake you guys up to make sure that you're not relying a hundred percent on me uh, 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 by Bible believing God fearing ministries or other ministries that you have that you working hard on your personal relationship with Jesus Christ that you're staying in the Word of God you're staying in prayer and being a light to the lost world okay it's very important so I want to do a quick video because I don't know how long oops how long uh, I'll be able to get upload videos uh, like I said, it's whatever God has. God's got everything under control, what's going on in the world. God's got it under control. But I just wanted the brethren to stop and take a, a step back and breather and say, Hey, am I staying in God's word every morning? Am I praying? Am I living a life of Christ? Am I witnessing to my neighbors, my co-workers, when I go into town, leaving gospel tracts? Um, am I doing those things? Then I'm living for Jesus Christ. If I can't get online to watch a Bible study can't get online to watch a Bible study if we lose power right now I'm, I was trying so hard to get that wood stove so um, I just don't know if I'll be able to end up getting that wood stove because I had planned on getting it at the end of summer it's the only time I'm gonna be able to afford it's at the end of summer and tough times could be just right around the corner so getting calls from brothers in Christ and messages from brother Christ you see what's going on in the world and everything God's got everything under control, brother and sister Christ. I'm not saying we just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and taking care of your families. But trust the Lord. Okay. God knows what he's doing. Continue living a life for Christ. Don't let what's going on in the world deter you from living for Jesus Christ. What's going on in the world might open some people's eyes. Lost people. It might be the breaking point that's needed to get them to become broken enough that they'll accept Jesus Christ. Okay, they repent and believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. We might be going through some tough times because I'm watching Victoria back there. But uh, because it's what's needed to get that last soul saved. Remember, we're in the. Uh, I, I love I love 33rd book. He did a great teaching where he's the first fruits were the. When Jesus was raised from the dead, the, the, the Old Testament saints were raised and they went up. That's the first fruits. And then the, the church age, the death of Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the harvest. And then the time of Jacob's trouble is the gleanings. But for us, in the, each harvest, it's the same thing. You can all, also minimize it to where today in the church age, you have all three parts in this, in this church age. You know, where we had the made harvest, the beginning Paul's there. He's leading people to Christ. People want to get saved and everything. And then after that, we have the main harvest, which there was a great revival that God's word went out all over the world and everything, and people were getting saved. And now we might be in the gleanings where we're trying to get that last soul saved so we can go home, brothers and sisters of Christ, so we can go home. So I'm here. I've been doing a lot of uh, rearranging the house and cleaning it. Uh, moving furniture and cleaning it and realizing how old I'm getting because um, it's not easy and uh, I've been praying hardcore for the brethren so like I said the main talk for this is if the internet goes down and I'm not on the internet uh, my, my hopefully this gets out before that happens if it happens um, 
that you stay in prayer. Pray for the body of Christ. Always pray, 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 Lord. The Bible, uh, the brethren, pray to the Lord for the brethren. Okay. I'm always asking God, how's this brother in Christ doing? How's that brother in Christ doing? They kind of fell away or they went their own way and we got parted for whatever reason. I'm praying for all the brethren, the ones that have turned their back on me, the ones that are still standing with me. I'm praying for everybody, all the body of Christ in these last days. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I hope this camera's not jittering too much, but it looks like it is. It could be my hands. Like I said, doing a lot of moving around the house, hurting my knees. So I apologize for the jitterness, but I just wanted to get out a quick walk and talk. Just saying, brethren, make sure you're staying in the Word of God. Make sure you're staying in prayer. And you're going to have to have a ministry that's local. All the, you know, you've been so reliant on online ministry, online ministry. You might have to be a part of a local ministry. And I'm not talking about a Babel building. I'm talking about you actually getting active for the Lord getting out there in your area and keep preaching and witnessing for Jesus Christ with the life that you're living. Be a light with the life that you're living and you won't compromise. And um, actually witnessing for Jesus Christ. This thing looks like it's jittering. I apologize for that. It's the first time I'm using it. So when I move, it seems to get jittery. So we're not going to go too far in this walk because it could start raining again. Um... But brother and sister Christ, you might have to be a local. Start do, being part of the ministry locally. And I was trying to push house churches. Maybe, you know, I was still trying to push house churches. Uh, coming together locally and being there for one another and, and continuing the ministry locally. And, you know, you might get isolated. Okay. So just brother and sister Christ, stay, stay hardcore for the Lord. No matter what's going on in the world. No matter what's going on in the world. Stay hardcore for the Lord with the life that you're living, brothers of Christ. And just know that even though if I'm not online, the other brethren, we're praying for one another. And whatever hardship you're going through, there's other brethren going through those hardships. We're praying for one another. Okay? I will continue to be praying for you. Okay? So uh, start walking back a little bit. But like I said, this camera is very jittery on this stand. Um, try not to let it jitter, but... It looks like it's just, to me, it looks jittery. I'll have to find out when we put it on the, on, on the computer. But brothers and sisters Christ, I love you. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. And please stay in the Word. Please continue living a life of Christ. Get the pride out of your life. We just got a study that we're putting out. Get the pride out of your life. If there's any pride in your heart, keep throwing it out. Anytime it tries to sneak its way back in, throw it out. Uh, iniquity, sins, anytime they try to sneak their way back in. But remember... We choose to sin. It's our fault. When pride gets in, I always say sneak its way back in, but it's because we left the back door open. We left the back door unlocked and let them ride on in. Okay? Get pride out of your heart. Get iniquity out of your heart. Get the world's way out of your heart and the distractions of the world and be focused on Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. That blessed hope. That blessed hope, brother says Christ. You can come back any day now, and every day I'm going to live for Jesus Christ hardcore and keep my eyes on Jesus with the life that I'm living. Keep doing that, brother and sister Christ. So I'll be praying for you guys. Uh, keep praying for me. And um, who knows what's going to be happening in the next week, next few days, uh, what's going on in the world. So I'm not one of those big-time people that really get into world events or anything like that. But... My warning to the brethren is what the Bible says, okay? We're not given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind when it comes to the world. No matter what's going on in the world, what sets us apart from them, if you remember uh, one of my testimonies, the house fire was four, it was eight miles away from the house, a big forest fire. And within four miles, it moved four miles in one day and came to within four miles of the house. And they thought the next day was going to wipe out this area. So I, we all got evacuated. And I'm sitting there reading the Bible, studying the Bible, praying. And everybody's looking at me going, why aren't you scared? Why aren't you falling apart? Why aren't you getting stressed out? And, and the world's words, freaking out and everything. You know, men's, I know this for the time of Jacob's trouble, but men's hearts failing and for fear. Why aren't you so fearful? Because I'm, I'm saved. We're supposed to react differently than the world does. We're not given to a spirit of fear, but of love, a 
salvation. We get to preach the word. We get to preach salvation to the world when the world's going through hard times. But of love, of peace, and a sound mind. If God wants to take the house, he takes it. I trust the Lord. He knows what he's doing. And they were all shocked about that. I remember having one woman walk up to me because she saw I had the stuff highlighted in my Bible. Um, she thought I was a preacher at the time. I wasn't, I wasn't even doing YouTube online. Um, I was saved, but I wasn't in like online ministry. And she thought I was a preacher because I had everything highlighted. I was so calm. I was peaceful. I was quoting the scriptures to say, this is why I'm not afraid. And, oh, you must be a preacher. So only preachers are supposed to do that. No, I believe all the body of Christ is supposed to do that. We're all supposed to study 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be shamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We are all supposed to do that. So, so yeah. Um, so they were wondering how I was not so afraid. And it's like, uh, you don't get me wrong. There's stuff that I'll be like sorrowful a little bit. Oh, I lost this or I lost that. Oh, Lord, I really like that. But in the end, I trust the Lord. And you, oh, brother Jesus Christ, I pray you trust the Lord. And whatever happens, happens. But the big point is, is whatever happens, we stay true to the Lord. We don't start falling, using this, what's going on in the world as an excuse to fall back into the world. We don't use what's going on in the world as an excuse to fall back into iniquity and justify iniquity. Sin. Bible word iniquity is sin. It's talking about sin. Okay, And we don't use what's going on in the world to puff up our pride even more and allow Satan to come on in. Not here, but our, our lives. We don't want Satan in our lives. The Bible says resist the devil and he must flee. And it tells us to be sober, be vigilant for your adversary the devil going around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Paul, Satan has desired to sift thee like wheat. Okay, We need to strengthen one another, but don't let Satan and don't use what's going on in this world to start falling apart. And falling away and be part of the falling away. This falling away that's happening right now, God said it's going to happen before the man of sin is revealed. The son of perdition. Stay strong. We're running a race, brothers and sisters of Christ. Have you done all to stand? Are you running a race as if one receiveth the prize? That means everybody's running hardcore for that finish line as if there's only one prize for one person. That's how we're supposed to act. Everybody's going to get rewards. But we're supposed to act as if there's only one prize and the first person to get across that finish line gets that prize. That's supposed to be our motivation. Paul uses that as an, as an example of our motivation. We're to live for Jesus Christ hardcore to the very last, to your last breath, to the catching away of the body of Christ. Live for Jesus Christ every day. Okay, brother and sister Christ. So it's just a quick video to get that out there. What, I want you to think about it. You can, if we can still make comments, make comments. But the internet goes down. What are, you, what are you going to be relying on? Right now, your main relying on should be the Holy Ghost, the Scriptures, living a life of Christ, and holding what you've learned, whether you've learned from this ministry, or another Bible-believing ministry. Take what they've taught you and hide it in your heart and live it. Don't get discouraged, brother and sister Christ. Don't get discouraged what's going on in the world. Don't get distracted by what's going on in the world. We still need to witness for Jesus Christ. We still need to read our Bibles. We still need to pray. We still need to study. We still need to work on sanctification. You might be a newly saved Christian. You need to still work on sanctification. Don't use what's going on in, the, in this world to, to let it get in the way of your walk with the Lord. Continue living for Jesus Christ every day and be a light to, to the world, what's going on? Be a light. So, I wanted this walk to be longer, but I didn't walk that much because when I'm looking at the camera, it looks like it's jittering as I'm walking. So, I think it's loose in the, in the holder. It's not in the holder that hardcore. So, I hope this comes out. Whatever it comes out, I'm putting it out because I just need to get some videos out ASAP. But yeah, take the things you learn. I'm taking the things I learned from King James Video Ministries when Brother Brian was in a standing position. I'm taking things that I've learned from Peter Ruckman. I'm, you know, I'm taking things that I learned from David Daniels at Chick Publications before he went the world's way. And, you know, and from other Brethren of Christ, Brother Brad Avenshine, you take things that you've learned and you hide it that are true and good and true and you hide them in your heart and you live them. And there might come a time where we get 
We'll lose, com we'll lose this technology of being able to talk to everybody around the world. We might lose it for a while, okay? Um, and you might, be, you might feel isolated and alone. Just don't you know you're not alone. You have Jesus Christ. Keep praying. You have his word. And some of you, uh, God might even bless you of having brothers and sisters around you where you guys can start coming together and forming house churches in these tough times. And that's my suggestion, to form some house churches in these tough times and come together physically as body of Christ in different areas and really standing for each other and witnessing for the Lord. So, so grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you, brother says Christ, my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Stand, stand, stand. Don't faint. Don't falter. Don't use anything like this. Please don't use this. What's going on in the world right now as an excuse to fall away. Some brethren are already falling away and they're using this as an excuse to fall away further. And it's like, God will pick you back up. God will get you back on the right track eventually. It's not going to happen overnight sometimes. Sometimes it'll take a few years to get someone back on the right track. Sometimes it'll take a few weeks. Depends on the person. Are they fighting God? Or are they submitting themselves to God? Are they prideful, puffed up? Or are they humbling themselves? What are, they, who, uh, are they hiding iniquity in their heart? Are they hiding the world in their heart? Are they hiding God's word in their heart? Okay. But if you're truly saved and born again, God will watch over us and God will chastise a child, chastise us as a father would a child. That's the love God has for us to get us back on the right path. So hardships are coming. Uh, hit me up, Brother Sis Christ, in emails if uh, you need help with anything. Uh, Bibles is a big thing that I'm trying to get out there. Just real quick, try to order some Bibles while we can and get Bibles to people ASAP. Um, so just there's going to be some tough times, Brother Sis Christ. Just make sure you don't use these tough times as a justification to fall back into the world. Stay strong. Do all to stand. Stand, stand, stand. Okay. So I love you, brother, sister, Christ. I love you. True love. And um, just grace and peace. I want you to have grace and peace in these times, Lord. Please, Lord. I'm asking the Lord, please, Lord. Grace and peace is what I want for you guys, brother, sister, Christ. And I will... It's uphill walking. I will just keep you in my hearts, brother, sister, Christ. Keep you in my prayers. And I'm going to continue reading the Bible, continue to study the Bible, and as long as the doors open, I'm going to continue preaching the Word of God. Okay. I know there's people, enemies out there trying to, you know, they lie about me, they slander me, and they're saying all these, uh, what is it, the Bible says, backbiting, whispering, um, and everything, and it's like, I'm not going to do the same back. I'm not playing Satan's game. I'm not going to do the same thing back. They want to bear false witness. They want to lie. Let them. Brothers and sisters Christ, you have the Holy Spirit in you. You have the Word of God. And I've told people I have the email. If you have, I've had people ask questions, and I explained to them. I said, this is where I was wrong. I was still wrong, but just not in the way they say I'm wrong. I still screwed up. And then there's times where, yeah, I did do this, but I repented and gave it to the Lord. But yes, I did screw up there. And then there's times I'm like, I didn't do that. Who told you that? That's not true. That's the enemy. That's what they love to do. They love to do those three things. They like to grab... Your past sins that you've committed and hold them against you. You've repented. You've forsaken them and given them to the Lord. They want to hold it against you. They'll make up lies. Or the lies will have half-truths. So there was a mistake you made in the past, but we're going to add all these other mistakes and we're going to twist it to make it out to be something it wasn't. Okay? But it's all about making you look bad so no one will listen to you. And it's going to happen to you, brother, sister Christ. It's going to happen to you. You're going to stand for absolute truth, whether it's a brother in Christ that turns on you and has like, like a rabid dog turns on you. Notice I said brother in Christ. Like a rabid dog just turns on you. It's going to happen to you. How do you react? Do you humble yourself? Do you have charity? I'll suffer the persecution. Praise the Lord. For standing for absolute truth, I'll praise the Lord. For encouraging the brethren to stand for the word of God, praise the Lord. So, it could happen to you, brother, sis, Christ, and it might, a lot of brethren out there have testimonies where it has happened. But my main push for this, didn't mean to go off on that, I apologize, brother, sis, Christ, but my main point is to stick with the word of God. 
in these tough times, the one thing that God promised is that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Ministries come and go. Whether they fall apart because the person falls apart or the person passes away and the ministry dies because it was based off mainly around that person and there's no one behind to take up the ministry for that person. But ministries come and go as far as people in ministry. The ultimate ministry of reconciliation, the Word of God, that is forever. The words of God are forever. So no matter what happens, do you have the Word of God? Do you have your Bible? Do you have prayer? If you haven't been praying that much, now is the time to be praying a lot. You should have been praying a lot before, but now is the time to be praying hardcore. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Paul's always talking about making mentions of you in my prayers. He's always praying for the body of Christ. He's praying that Satan doesn't come in and screw them up. That their flesh doesn't screw them up. First and Second Corinthians, their flesh doesn't screw them up. That the world doesn't come in and screw them up. Galatians, oh foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched thee? He's always praying for the brethren that they stay on the right path. We need to be praying for the brethren hardcore. Keep your Bibles close, keep reading them, keep studying them, keep living for Jesus Christ. We're getting back home, so uh, just want to say again, I love my brother and sister Christ, even the ones that have turned on me. Even the ones that have turned on me and, and done some evil, wicked things. I want you to know, I forgive you. Okay, you're giving in to the world, you're giving in to the flesh, you're playing Satan's pride game. Remember, Satan's the uh, father of the children of pride. His thing is all about pride. Puffing men up. Okay? You're, you're failing the Lord. Okay? But I forgive you. And I give you to the Lord, and the Lord will deal with you. And um, I, just, I love my brothers and sisters in Christ as a whole. That's why I preach what I do and stand firm to the Word of God and try to correct brethren and try to get you back up. It's to build you back up, brothers and Christ. Remember, the lost world, when they correct you it's not correcting they're attacking when they attack you about your faults it's to tear you down to destroy you when a brother in christ comes to you and corrects you according to the scriptures they do it with love to build you back up to get you back up to a standing point there's a difference okay i want to build you back up to a standing point I want to make sure that if you're not praying every day, make sure you're praying hardcore. If you're not reading your Bible every morning and every evening, make sure you get back to it. If you were doing it before and you're not doing it much now, you need to get back to reading that Bible hardcore, listening to the Bible. I listen to Alexander Scorey read the Bible, getting through the Old Testament. I'm at Jeremiah Isaiah. I just did Isaiah and I'm on Jeremiah. And uh, New Testament, I'm in uh, 1 Timothy, going through the whole New Testament again this last month to two months. And I'm really going hardcore in the Bible and trying to focus on the Lord no matter what's going on. You need to get back to focusing on the Lord and keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. So I'll say it again. I meant to end it back there. But grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. No matter what happens online, stay true to the Lord. Stay true to his word. Take the things that has been taught to you by Bible-believing, God-fearing men. Hide them in your heart and continue living for the Lord. Who knows, you might have a chance to share that knowledge with another brother, newly saved brother and sister in Christ uh, when you have to come together and do ministries more local, more physical, hands-on ministries, not online ministries. So just wanted to throw that in there. So I will talk to you guys later, and I love you, brother and sister in Christ.